Hey, what's up everybody? It's Jimmy Hubals from ACG, and I just want to go ahead and let you know I don't do any two-minute reviews or have any reviews with sponsored bullcrap, and this guy is going to be more of that. So listen to the sound of my voice. I'm going to show you how to play the game here. So the first thing you want to do for this VR uh, SP uh, money grind is you want to put on an easy difficulty. Don't feel bad. You don't have to feel like less of a gamer just because you're playing on easy difficulty. We're just trying to get money here. We're not trying to show off our pro gaming skills. So go ahead and choose easy. Choose the challenge course on the hard course, and then we'll go into the course, and I'm going to show you how to make all the money, okay? We'll just go ahead and wait for the slightly absurd load time here. I am on on a PS4 Pro. It was not given to me by Sony. It is my own. I paid for it with my own money. I buy my own games with my own money, even if I get them for free for go. a month early. No problem. Let's do this. So I'm going to shut my mouth and you can watch me playing some of the game for just a moment until I explain one of the big tricks that's going to lead you to get a lot of money and then that'll lead you to get more SP and you'll get more SP and you can go up levels faster and you can beat the game faster and you can get the platinum trophy and you can tell all your friends and your family. So you can see here we're coming up to our first battle. He's a one star battle. He's not going to be very hard. We'll go ahead and beat him up pretty quick and we'll get one star and we'll get a prize. So the stars will determine the amount of dice that are returned at the end of the mission. For instance, this is a one-star battle, which means it's not even that hard, and when you complete it, you get one dice roll back. So if you were to do a three-star battle, you get three dice back, and if you used one dice to get there, that means you get two plus three dice. And the best way to beat these battles is to retard the enemy's health bar before your health bar is also retarded to a value of zero. Easy. The ability that you really want for this minigame is to be able to slow down the dice. That way you can see which value of the die is going to show up when you push the button as evidenced here. I wanted to get a 5 and I've got a 5. Now, if you roll a 5, then a 6, then a 2, Koronyan will show up and you can go to the bonus game for free. Now keep in mind, you can only do this one time per game. I'm on a roll. Nice. Almost there. Perfect. So first we rolled the five, now we rolled a six. Here goes nothing. Nice. Almost there. Nice. Got it. And now that we're gonna go ahead and roll a two. Heck up for two. Five, six, two. That spells Kurinyan. Time for bonus, bitches.
For this mini game, what I recommend doing is changing over to tiger style. After you go in the tiger style, you want to bounce off of these guys until they let down their guard. This typically takes anywhere between four and six seconds. After that, the bread and butter, as we say, combo to rack up the big boxes. You want to hit them three times with the square button and then switch over to triangle. You can see here how it works. We're going to end up with a score in the 80s. But don't press triangle too many times. You'll end up slapping them in the face with a kick and losing precious time and lots of money. Okay, so here comes another big trick for the video game. You want to let the black cat run into you, and I know what you're thinking, cue balls, what are you, some kind of retard? You can't do that. You're gonna lose all your shit. But guess what? If you touch this black cat a second time on the map, not only will you get all your shit back, but you'll get double your shit back, just like Mr. Shakedown, sort of. It's almost time for sweet, sweet revenge. We're coming up on the black cat right now, and you can see that when you catch him a second time, it's gonna force us into a battle. If we win the battle, we get all of our shit back. Now I know what you're thinking. Cue balls, this battle's gonna be next to hecking impossible, but it's really not that hard, and we chose easy for this reason. So you're just gonna run over to the wall, jump off the wall, and press the circle button. This will throw the enemy from one side of the screen to the other. That way you can pick off enemies. This is also a really good tactic for building up lots of heat. Now keep in mind, when you attack in this game, you have an absolutely absurd and ridiculous amount of recovery time, so plan your attacks accordingly. So now that this battle's back, you're gonna see that the excitement is gonna rise and we're gonna get a whole lot of money because we're gonna get double our shit back from the black cat. So here it comes, our big bonus. Now we're up to four and a half, seven million point three oh oh. That's a whole lot of monies. Now once the black cat disappears, he doesn't come back from what I can tell, so at this point you just push as long as you want. The big trick here is you want to get as much money as possible before running into the black cat. When I recorded this video that was over a goddamn hour, I kind of made a mistake and I didn't get as much money as I wanted. But if you were to play this properly, you could get as much as 18 million yen or something. You well, know, or something like that. I'm getting kind of tired of making the video in this voice, so I'm just going to go ahead and let it play to the end, and then we'll see how much XP we get. Which one? Now. So I'm pretty much out of patience here, and I'm pretty much entirely sick of doing this, and I don't need any money because I already got the dumb platinum trophy in this game, but I'm making this guide for you. This is for you. This is my gift to you from ACG Gaming and Jimmy Q-Ball's Video Gaming. Which one? Roll them. I'll go straight. Crossroads.
Not bad. Okay, time to enjoy the fruits of our labor. We're gonna leave the VR studio and then we're gonna go ahead and go to the Papo shop with the black guy and we're gonna buy a bunch of hug bomb omegas, I think they're called. So here we're gonna get to a random battle. I know you love random battles and, you know, even though you have disguises in the game, they chose to not let you equip them and avoid random battles for some reason. Rounding around the corner here, and another random battle. We just got in a random battle, but here's another random battle. I don't know why they have so many random battles in this game. Kamadoncho is a pretty dangerous place. I mean, it's not like the game has a system where you can equip costumes, and they could have made the game where you could equip a costume and avoid a random battle. They didn't think of that because they're dumb. Really, guys? Great, the random battle is over. Let's go ahead and run to Papo right now. Oh wait, you can't do that because your dumb friend has to acknowledge you for three seconds. Every time. So we finally made it to Popo after an hour of video gaming. Let's check and see how much XP we have. 5,972. So now you want to pop a growth extract and just buy as many Hug Bomb Omegas as you can. The growth extract will increase the ability that the Omega has to add SP to your inventories. That way you can buy all the skills and heck up all you want. Repeat until you're out of money, or until you have the amount of XP that you want. いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。ありがとうございます。いらっしゃいませ。ありがとうございます。いらっしゃいませ。Sorry, I do want to thank you guys for watching. This is Jimmy Cubals from ACG. We'll go ahead and our check our XP here. We got 46,000 XP in just over an hour. So subscribe to my channel and give me all your money. Thanks for playing Judgment. Now, I hope you enjoyed this guide. If you did, give it a big like.